Walker, the James Bond. So there you have it. Uh, Trimush121 asks, How do you think about Resident Evil 4 and 5 and I, their departure from the other games to the series, oh, in the series? I guess you, what you're saying is how the gameplay changed, and I think it was for the best. I think that was a good thing. I think the gameplay model in Resident Evil 3 was the same, really, as Resident Evil 2 and 1. They added that 180-degree turn, but I think it really needed better controls and, and just tighter gameplay in general, and I think that Resident Evil 4 really did. I think Resident Evil 4 is the best one. I haven't actually played 5. I have it sitting right there, and I'm planning to do like a marathon of all of them. But I haven't had the. I'm still doing the Final Fantasy marathon, and I'm kind of stuck on Final Fantasy VII, which I haven't been playing that much because I've been playing Dragon Quest IX. So <laughs> I'll get to it eventually. But I heard that the gameplay is very similar to four. Uh, Kakeo Silverton asks if you could create a new, uh, if you can create a game series from scratch, <clears throat> what would it be about, and what kind of game would it be? For example, RPG platformer, first person shooter, etc. And congrats on 4,000 subscribers. Actually, 3,000 subscribers. Um, you know, I mean, I would like to create something a little bit kind of similar to, like, the Elder Scrolls, but set in a different world, obviously. But I would like to build upon, you know, like what Morrowind did to the series, where it was, um, you, you were kind of isolated and everything. I would like to do a kind of game like that where you're kind of um, isolated, but... Maybe instead of it being like a kind of a, you know, maybe a civilized area, maybe you're, uh, maybe it's kind of a horror themed. Like imagine an Elder Scrolls type RPG, but it's like a, a real horror themed game. Not like a, like a, you know, fantasy or sci-fi like Fallout, but something with, you know, zombies and monsters. Like imagine if Resident Evil was an RPG, kind of like that. I would love to, to do something like that. Of course, I, I have no idea how to make games, so. Uh, Mr. Love of Mr. Lover of Ganja asks, "What is your favorite Thomas Harris novel?" I would have to say, uh, well, actually, there's one novel he wrote that I didn't read yet. I have it. It's called like I think it's called Black Sunday. But out of all his other novels, he hasn't written that many. Hannibal is my favorite. Um, Jason five six ninety says, "Do you think the Resident Evil franchise has gone downhill? If so, why? I do not think. I think it's better than it has been." Akumi has. Oh Jesus, I forgot to impose a limit on questions. I usually say three questions. And he gave me something like ten questions. Well, actually, it's eleven. So I'm just going to go through them real fast, because I, I, it was my fault. I should have said a limit, but I didn't. Akumi says, uh, question number one, favorite Sega CD game and why? Uh, Sonic CD, because it's Sonic. Uh, question two, do you like any FMV games on Sega CD? No. This one's also question number two. There's two number twos. Do you like any games on Sega 32X? I mean, not not anything that I couldn't find elsewhere. Like, I like Doom, but I'd rather play it on PC. So really, like, kind of no. Um, like, Knuckles Chaotix is okay, but it's not like I love the game. Question three. Favorite video game system? Super NES. Um, question four. If you prefer old retro systems than the newer ones, why? I, I, I kind of like them both, so I, I really couldn't tell you that. Um... Number five, since you collect GameCube games, I take it you prefer Nintendo than Sega, Sony, Atari, Neo Geo, Microsoft, and Television 3DO. Is that a question? I'm just going to move to the next one. Number six, why do you think RPG series like Castlevania, Grandi, and Final Fantasy are more famous than other RPGs? Secret of Mana, an example. I don't think that Grandi is very famous. I think it's actually kind of obscure. But um, Castlevania, I mean, it, was, it started as an action series and then kind of crossed over into RPGs, so... It had a lot of people who had already grown up playing uh, Castlevania. Final Fantasy, when Seven came out, it, it pushed RPGs into the mainstream because of its cinematic presentation and scope and its and its marketing push. So I think that after that, that cemented that that would be probably the most famous series of RPGs. You didn't mention Zelda, which is probably the most famous before that. Um, yeah, I don't know, maybe you're one of those Zelda's not an RPG people, but, you know, it has to do with presentation and marketing and everything, um, and accessibility, you know. Do you like the direction the video game industry is going in, or should they focus more on unique games and online play and graphics? It's kind of a bad question, because the, 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 the industry is going in several different directions at once, and you just find the directions you like and latch on to that. Why do you think the Wii Create Your Character function is less detailed than the same functions in Mario Talent Studio on the 64 disk drive? Well, I haven't 
played that, but I can tell you that probably because it's not that important. You create the me, it's fun, and then you move on and you play the games. Whereas, you know, the, the Mario Artist thing, that was probably, like, almost the whole game there. Uh, if you ever played Shenmue 1 and 2 on the Dreamcast, do you think the game is worth all the money and to make Dreamcast last less and for Sega to stop the hardware bit, blah, 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 blah. I, I've never played them. Uh, number 10, do you like the idea of Blu-ray, that every 10 years people have to change a new format and spend more money when they are blah, blah, blah. Um, well, you know, the thing is, Blu-ray players will play DVDs, so that doesn't really bother me. Um, okay, fine, be that way, asks, since the cancellation of King of the Hill, have you seen The Good Family, and if so, what do you think of it? Also, what's your thoughts on The Cleveland Show? The Good Family was gone so fast that I never got the chance to see it, you know? I was like, oh, that looks funny, and then... It was gone. It lasted like seven episodes. It was pathetic. Uh, I don't know. I heard about, you know, Mike Judge is going back to Beavis and Butthead. Maybe he, he feels he tried to do other things. He tried to do smarter things. He made a couple of movies that didn't make as much money as they should have. Like, I mean, Office Space was kind of a cult hit. But Idiocracy, even though it got great reviews and everybody liked it, barely got played in theaters. And I, I don't think Extract really made that much of a buzz. King of the Hill had a great run, but then got canceled for the dumbest reason ever, and The Good Family barely lasted a season. It didn't even last a season. So, you know, now he's going back to Beavis and Butthead, and hey, that's cool. Um, the Cleveland Show is vile. I've, I've, I've watched every episode of season one sitting there, and I think I've laughed twice. Why do I watch it? I don't know. I can't figure it out. It's like a train wreck. Jay Meister 25 asks, what do you think was the best movie in the last decade? In my opinion, I think it was Return of the King. Well, I guess, I mean, I already mentioned American Beauty, and that came out, like, kind of in the last decade. Uh, aside from that, I mean, you, you mentioned Return of the King is a good one. I mean, if you th I think, like, the whole Lord of the Rings is really one movie. I'd have to, you know, like, if I wasn't going to say American Beauty, I'd have to give it to Kill Bill, though. Um, Bolion96 says, do you think the Silent Hill series is starting to lose it? I've never played any of them, so I couldn't really offer an opinion on that. Ultima Keymaster says, What are your thoughts about the future of the Bond series? Looking forward to the Wii GoldenEye 007 Bloodstone releases? Yes, I am. Finally, what exactly are you expecting for the possibly final in a trilogy next movie, since we have plenty of time to imagine from the slight hiatus? I think that people are obsessed with the ideas of trilogies and everything being a trilogy. It's, it's you know, the Bond series has been going on for a long time. There's no reason to assume that this is a trilogy. I mean, it's, it was definitely a reboot, and, you know, yes, Quantum of Solace did continue off of Casino Royale, but it was a different director, it was a different direction in some ways. I don't think that, they, I think that they already said that the next one would be unrelated to those two, so I don't really see how, and, and final, like what, that they stopped doing Bond movies? I very much doubt that. So, yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I, what would I like to see? I mean, I would like to see kind of, um... I would like to see the Quantum Organization stick around, kind of like Spectre did in the old series, but I would like to see moving away from the stuff from Casino Royale that has kind of already been resolved. So, I don't know. I mean, I don't want it to get to the hole where he's using a whole bunch of gadgets and, you know, then it becomes like the Roger Moore movies and it's all silly and over the top. You know, I, I don't want to see that. <laughs> Mr. MMO97 has three questions. If you can pick one game on the DS, which one is your favorite? Ooh, Ooh that's hard. Ooh. Oh, you know what? It's not hard. Castlevania, Order of Ecclesia. There we go. What do you think of the Nintendo at E3? I kind of already covered that in the last episode of the VMX show, so I'm not going to go into it here. And what game at Nintendo E3 are you most excited for? Um... Well, you know, actually, and th this may come as a surprise to some of you guys, but um, I'm kind of really looking forward to uh, to play in um, Donkey Kong Country again. You know, it, it seems surprising, but that kind of like got me like, hey, yeah, that looks like a lot of fun. I remember that. So there you have that. Uh, Mama Miyamoto <laughs> asks, what is your favorite Wario game? I just covered the whole fucking Wario series. It's Wario Land 4. Uh, Screw Limp Biscuit has, well, sort of four questions. What is your favorite Metallica album? Good lord, do you not see that? Of course it's Master of Puppets. Bloody hell. Uh, why do you think... It, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, what inspires you to continue making videos? I don't really have an inspiration so much that I, uh, I just have a lot of fun doing it. 
generic silly question, yeah, well, generic smart ass answer. And have you ever heard of or seen the horror movie Be Begotten? I don't know, I've never even heard of it. Video Games, those Video Games says, What is your stance on marijuana? Why do I have to have a stance on it? What is it? I think it should be legalized. I'll just leave it at that. And one more question. What do you think of the irate gamer? There are a lot of people calling him a ripoff of AVGN, including AVGN himself, by the way. And I've seen a sort of conspiracy video where someone points out various coincidences, which I don't think are coincidences, and similarities between the two. I don't watch enough of irate gamers' videos to notice or care for that matter, but just wondering what you thought. Yeah, he, he's a plagiarist because he, he completely takes James Rolfe's style and just does the same exact thing without trying to adapt it into his own style or do anything unique or interesting. So, less said about him, the better. I almost didn't include this because it's like the dumbest question ever, but I, you know, why not? The Redneck 89 xxx says, do you like pussy? Love it. Uh, Moonraven09, like I said, dumbest question ever. Moonraven09 says, do you want to do a voice for a Resident Evil movie I'm making? Actually, I would like to do that. Uh, I'll contact you. 21Brandon251 says, uh, three questions. Are there going to be any Kirby features? Yes. Uh, how many games do you have in your GameCube collection? I actually said it recently in one of the videos. I haven't been collecting GameCube games recently for several reasons. I will go back to it. It's it's something like almost 200. I'm, I'm, I, I'm, last time I counted, it was like 170-something, and then I've gotten more games since then. Have you ever thought about doing any streams? I've thought about it, but decided not to. Uh, M M Mr. R Yab M R R Y A B four asks if you make another playthrough, then what will the next one be? Find out at the end of this video. D W thirteen nineteen says, "What is your ideal perfect game?" I don't know what you know. Like I, I really don't understand the question. Like if they're asking what my favorite game is, as I've said it before a million times, it's Castlevania: Aria of Sorrow. But are they asking like what my dream game is? I don't know. I'll let you know when I play it. Uh, what is your first NES game you bought as a kid? Well, the first NES game I ever had was a Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt Double Cart. First game I bought though, I could like like myself, I couldn't tell you. I don't remember, but you know that was the first game I ever had and played on the NES. Well, not the first game I ever played on the NES. It was the first game I ever owned. First game I ever played on the NES was definitely Pac-Man. Um. Mr. Lover of Ganja, again, I should have put that with the other one. What is the meaning of life, the universe, and everything? That. Uh, <laughs> Tycoon Mike 3, so you were expecting me to say 42? I don't know. Tycoon Mike 3 has two questions. What's your say on the whole Arizona Illegal Immigration Act? Like it or hate it? Uh, well, let me just put it this way. Illegal immigrants. They shouldn't be here, so that pretty much answers it. A lot of people have tried to make this into an issue that it's not like a race, race issue or whatnot. And what it really is, and what people have to try to understand, I don't mean to get too political here, but what people should understand is that these, these laws are actually federal laws that are already on the books and have been, but were not enforced on the state level. And uh, I don't really see the problem with it. I think that, you know, people have to, people, when they go after illegal immigrants, people say, oh, you hate immigrants. Like, no, we love immigrants. This is a country of immigrants. Uh, you know, unless you're unless you're like a a native tribesman, you know, like a native uh, American Indians, then you 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 come from a line of immigration. I mean, you know, the Pilgrims came here, the Vikings came here, the, you know, the Roanokes came here. I mean, everybody's from somewhere else. It's a melting pot society. Can't say that I don't like immigrants. Illegal immigrants, though, that's a problem. We need to secure our borders, not just because of you know. A couple of Mexicans coming over and taking our jobs, jobs, not because of that. Because it, after being attacked a couple of times and threatened from all over the world, I think we do need to close our borders. Not well, not necessarily close them, but but secure our borders and just you know we should know who's coming through. It shouldn't just be um, open. I mean, open would be ideal, but in the world we live in, we 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 can't do that really. So that's my thoughts on that. Like, I don't really want to get too political because I definitely don't want to like spark a debate. I have no interest in that on YouTube because I do a video game channel, not a politics channel. But you asked the question, I gave you an answer.